Hi, I'm Chef Alex Hahn, here to teach you how to skin an Atlantic salmon. The Atlantic salmon, coming in a whole fillet, is going to look like this. You're going to have the skin on the bottom, obviously, but down the middle here, there's a chance you could have some pin bones. Most fishmongers will take them out for you, but you always want to just ensure they're taken out. Have tweezers ready just in case we're fortunate. This one doesn't have any that need taken off. What we're going to do is we're going to trim our salmon to size that we'd like and take off any discoloration that we're not a fan of. So I'm just going to go through here. I'm going to set my scrap to the side. I'm not really a fan of this little section here. So I'm just going to take that off. I just want that uniform kind of pink color all over. And right here. Now, there's a couple different options when choosing knives to skin a salmon. If you want to use a flexible fillet knife, by all means, sometimes I find that these knives are a little small for the size of the Atlantic salmon. You can use a chef knife, but you have a wider blade, so you're getting a little more friction, so it isn't always easy to pull through. My favorite knife, just go with a simple slicing knife. You have less width on the blade, it's longer to cover the uh, width of the fillet, and it's nice and easy to push through. So for going through and skinning, what I like to do is kind of just start at the back where the tail would be, and I'm just getting under, but I'm leaving a little notch here that my fingers are going to rest on. This is going to hold the salmon in place when I'm pulling my, or pushing my knife through. So now I'm going to take my blade, and I want to just push down and kind of get underneath the flesh and between the skin. Pressing my blade down so it's as close to the skin as possible. Reposition if you need to as you get a little closer to the end. We're going to flip or loin over, not too bad. Skin's off. Now we can go to portioning. I'm gonna trim up, just to square off that edge. Now, all of our scrap we're obviously gonna keep, but this is great for mincing all of our trim. That goes into, say, you wanna make a salmon burger, a salmon cake, anything like that. Don't waste it. So we'll go into our fillets. We'll aim for about a five and a half to six and a half ounce portion. The tailpiece, you can set aside. You can cure that, do anything with. But here are your nice fillets for grilling, searing, anything you'd like. For more tips and tricks, please visit seafoodfromcanada.com.